Hello there, and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This is episode 20. Last time we found out the second sister was actually Trilla, Sears Padawan, second sister, former Jedi. Now, yep. down we go. Here. Well, excuse Thanks me. for the help back there, BD. You saved my life. Eh, I could have taken her. closer to the tomb. I totally could have taken her. I still think it's hilarious how you can just walk right through all the pottery. Rest. And through here. We find... We found it. It feels different than the other tomb. I don't know. I don't like it. Looks different too. I found it, but see her. Why didn't you tell me? Because she's a liar. You. How? I rerouted communication the moment you tried to contact her. Slicing encrypted transmissions was always a pastime of her. She taught me once. There's no technique Sarah has that I haven't perfected. Huh. You, you, you can read that. But I think, you know, calm conversation after a sit down, work things out, you know? Clear head, cool heads prevail. That's a different one. back so this one we can't push it out yay this one count as different in me no okay whatever Ah. This ball is broken. This looks like some Egyptian hieroglyphs and whatnot. The way it's drawn. What you got, Beatty? A wall. These devices appear to simulate this planet's gravitational pull. I can't help. Let's see it as a motif. This place, less a tomb and more a temple to one ruler's pride. 
I found repeated glyphs with the same word, Astrium, always near damaged statues. I believe this Astrium was once an a ubiquitous sacred symbol. Symbol. Perhaps even linked to the vault. Don't see it as a motif. That worked. Took the moment to save. You're running out of time. Shut your face. For what? My scouts located an artifact of interest at the rear of this tomb. Even now, I'm studying it, learning his secrets. It seems Cordova was rather taken with these Zepho. Perhaps enough to hide the Holocron amongst their bones. Yeah, we'll see how much you that way. Come on over here. Hmm. Woo. He's just gonna wait in the corner. Okay. Whoa. Guess he was waiting for me to tire myself out. You fail, sir. You fail miserably. See, what do we get? There you go. Okay, BD. What is it? New Mantis paint job. Quite greasy money. All right. A relic from the ancient Zepho. I sense great vanity and extravagance in this period of their history. Zepho relic from an age symbolized by vanity, extravagance, and power. So, dark side. Hello. Well, I just took out your commander. Okay. Before I activate the switch, jump it over here. Let's go around this way. What you got, BD? The most common offerings brought to Mick Trules to were votive candles, generally encased in metal and adorned with carvings. It said their flames represented Mick, Mick Trules' unending power. Oh, he's got a scan somewhere. Oh, yeah. BD? Hey, BD! I knew you jumped in there. Oh, you found something. You like silver material. Find something? Hacian smelt. My friend, what I found here is disconcerting. It seems these candles were offerings brought to this tomb in exaltation of Sage McTrull. First, I believe them votives to the lifewood. But the further I delve into this tomb, the less the evidence supports this. And yet there is one gift that intrigues me. Statuary of Zepho, of Zepho holding circular objects, much like spheres. 
Though much of this tomb is well preserved, these are uniformly destroyed. An interesting puzzle. So I guess Mictrul was the dirtbag depot. Hmm. Make it in there. Shit. Oh, hello. Hey. Oh, hello. Come on, bro. No? Okay. Can't do much. Can't really do anything in here right now. Okay, that brought that from somewhere. Ah, magnetized wall. Turn it off. There we go. Bye. It's funny, I just turned around. It's all got me. Well, he fell to his doom. Cannot climb up there. Vines are in the way. Saving. We're never getting across this gap. Better double back and tell the squad. Goodbye. Vines again. We need fire to put that out. Or you know, a. Searing hot plasma blade? No? Okay, fine. Hello! Goodbye. Bang, swinging, damn. And jump on over. Taste some of that. No, I it's could okay, have taken buddy. her. Just ignore her. Ah. Flame trooper over there. Can I reach him with the force push? No, I cannot. To jump over. Hey, an intruder! Yes. He's too scared. I can take you out, no problem. That definitely worked. Where are you at, boy? 
Barge Trooper. I think I will be getting out of here alive. I see you, Jedi. Goodbye. Goodbye. I will not fall. What the? You are mine. Okay, there he goes. It's one easy way to beat him. Yes, so. Let's hit this again. Imagine if those didn't have all those vines growing on them. I can see them. Okay, that takes care of him. Mmm. Yes. I don't even want to pop back up. I don't see them. Actually, I know it'll do it. Not this, but that does it. An ancient Zephonian. Part of a workforce that helped construct this tomb. They died before response. the job was finished. Of course, belonging to the Zephonian workforce that helped construct the tomb. Okay. So, how are we going to do this? Slow it down. And there we go. It's like magic. But not. There you go. You can come back over here if you want. But I have some too. Yeah, because you just shot. Yes, that is a kill. <laughs> there we go. What is over here? Nothing? Nothing at all? I feel like... Stormtroopers and workers. Expendable resources. You're a monster. 
I am what Sir made me. So that. Opens up this way. Anyways, I'm going to call it right here for this episode. Next time we'll continue exploring this temple. So see y'all next time.